Hello, I'm Raina Morgan with iHealth2, visiting with our enzyme expert, Nina Dockery. Welcome, Nina. Thank you. We've been talking about digestive enzymes, and then we ventured into systemic enzymes. Mm -hmm. They act as anti-inflammatories, right, in our system? Right, right. Well, they work with our, our body's own processes to, um, to help ameliorate uh, the inflammatory process. Okay, well let's talk about fibrin. So is there good fibrin and bad fibrin? Well, yes. You know, any time that we have an injury to our system, uh, the body wants to wall it off. The body wants right. to kind of segregate that system, and fibrin is, is involved in that and helps in that process, which is part of the self-healing process. Mm -hmm. And it functions in the blood, too, in a similar way. But what happens is sometimes that just gets out of hand and fibrin does not break down the way it should in the body, doesn't resolve the way it should in, uh, in inflammation, and we get kind of a cascading effect of the inflammatory process. So what does that mean for our bodies if the fibrin isn't broken down? Well, for one thing, blood clots, of course, okay. um, which are the formation where you get a clot formed from this and it begins to grow. Sometimes it can dislodge, sometimes it forms against the, the wall of the vessel. Um, in, the, in the body itself, extravascularly, um, you get an inflammatory condition that does not resolve. Or we get what we call chronic inflammation. In other words, there is a, a low-grade form of inflammation within the tissues throughout. And it's not enough that we see a trauma or we feel a trauma to the, to the tissue, but it is there on a low grade, um, con as a low-grade condition. So the systemic enzymes would address the fibrin buildup, is that what you're saying? Right. And right. how would this happen? Well, not sure exactly the processes that are involved, but somehow what is in, impacted are these pro-inflammatory messengers or systems um, called cytokines, mm -hmm. and particularly one called TNF-alpha. And the enzymes somehow have an effect on TNF-alpha in the system in helping to um, slow down or resolve that inflammatory process. So when you say a systemic enzyme, you're saying an entire array of enzymes or one specific enzyme? Um, generally they are prote proteases or they are protein digesting enzymes. So because fibrin is a protein, mm -hmm. they are ones that can function to help to break that down or resolve that inflammatory condition uh, that is um, produced by a buildup of these proteins, these types of proteins. And this is to address inflammation? Yes. So Nina, in summary, could you tell us about the different areas of inflammation? Right, that, um, that fibrin is impacts are both blood or vascular inflammation, and that affects, of course, the blood flow, mm -hmm. um, clotting mechanisms, that sort of thing. And then there's the extravascular or cellular inflammation um, that has to do with more tissue trauma or uh, conditions involving the tissues outside of the bloodstream itself. Um, and they can be both chronic and acute. Acute would be such as an injury to, mm -hmm. to the body that would result in an extravascular or cellular inflammation that fibrin clots forming to wall off right. the, the area that has been injured. Um, and then you can have chronic inflammation that occurs, can occur throughout the, the body um, where you just have a, a, these mechanisms for these inflammatory mechanisms somehow going a little bit awry where you have fibrin okay. buildup in tissue and in the bloodstream that's on a very low grade level and to a certain extent we may not notice that for years until we have an acute condition that, that, um, that somehow brings it to the forefront or a heart attack, a cardiovascular event which shows that there has been some inflammation going on all the time. And if you have read a lot of the, um, the recent research, they are beginning to look at the fact that a lot of cardiovascular events are preceded by this low-grade infl inflammation that is, uh, that is occurring in the body. Okay, well, thank you very much, Nina. Thank you.